Hey, welcome back to Next Trucking Adventure. So we're in the truck. We left the uh, RV resort, uh, the Nugget RV resort, Regis, and we're going to someplace cool today. So it's about an hour drive, 58 miles, I think it says, and it's the National Bison Refuge. And uh, it's about an hour loop drive and we're hoping to see not only bison, but there's supposed to be lots of other animals there and critters. So uh, we are stoked because yeah, because we love seeing wild animals. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. We are full-time RV travel. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Well, one of the things that you can do when you're staying in the area is come to the bison range. That's what we did today. When you come to the bison range, follow the signs up to the visitor center and that's where you purchase your passes for the day. In 1908, President Teddy Roosevelt established the National Bison Range. It's about 19,000 acres. The American Bison Society purchased the original herd of 40 bison and released them into the refuge in 1909. Today the bison population is roughly around 300 to 500 animals. This was the first time Congress appropriated tax dollars specifically for the conservation of wildlife, making it one of the first established wildlife refuges in the nation. In December, Congress passed the Bison Range Restoration Legislation, which gave the range to federal trust ownership back to the Salish and Kootenai Confederation tribe. The main loop is Red Sleep mountain loop and it's a 19 mile loop that you can drive to spot wildlife oh no look who's <laughs> driving holy toledo how many times have you driven the truck this is my third third time yep. oh lord the views are pretty amazing let's just show them to you So there's two roads, a short road where you can go in and out, and uh, it, that's about an hour. And then for about a two and a half hour, you can go the Red Sleep Mountain Drive. And we were told most of the mountains are, or most of the animals are up high today. So here we go. Here we go. Here would be our pro tip. Go early in the morning or later in the evening when the sun's going down. You gotta give yourself time to do the loop. It's 19 miles, takes about two and a half hours. But you will have better spotting of wildlife if you go in the early morning hours. We went midday. So we did see uh, bear poop, and by the size of it, grizzly bear poop in the road, right down from where all these buffalo are at. So somewhere in the thicket, right there, is, because it was really fresh, and no cars had driven over it, which tells me it just happened. Along the way, they do have some hiking areas. They want you to only hike in designated hiking trails and designated hiking areas. So we came to our first one, we jumped out, and we did we some came hiking. We our first uh, lookout, and we're on the Bitterroot Trail. Terry's got her bear spray because they told us to be bearware. 
Oh, we're we're bear aware, all right. We we're, already found a big pile of scat. Because yeah, Miss Terry found a ginormous pile of scat. So we're very bear aware. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. It's amazing, Miss Terry. A little bit of wind up here. It's good. But yeah, the, so it's 91. And with this little bit of wind, I gotta tell you, it feels awesome. Wow. Hey, do you wanna see what I'm looking at? Let me just show you. Okay, now we're on the High Point Trail, and we were watching people on that ridge, from that ridge right over there, right there. Yeah, but this one's all uphill. Oh, wait, what does this say? Carry bear spray. We're training. So here's the deal. I've got... <laughs> I've got bear spray. Terry's got puppy spray. Better <laughs> 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 than nothing. And we do want to see a grizzly. We just want to see him from a distance. So here's the payout. Walking up on top. What do you think, Miss Terry? It's so beautiful and quiet. So hey, we are next trekking adventure, and uh, we are at on the top of a scenic mountain at the Bison National uh, Refuge, and. You know, we just wanted to introduce ourselves and who we are. So I'm Mark. I'm Terry. And we're Next Trekking Adventure. We sold our bricks and sticks and we travel full time. Terry works remotely and uh, I'm retired. Well, I'm not retired because <laughs> I'm trying to do this YouTube thing. I'm trying to... Yeah, so we do most of our traveling in a fifth wheel. Um, we do jump out of that fifth wheel. Um, we've been to Puerto Rico, Hawaii in the last uh, seven months. And um, we've got more adventures. We've got the Dominican Republic coming up in 2022 still. Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park. But what we really wanted to do was introduce ourselves. So yeah, like I was saying, we are full-time travelers that love the outdoors. Love bringing our water toys with us and doing things in the water, doing things on the land. And what we want to do is bring our adventures to you. And yeah. So we did our hike. Yeah. Second hike. Our second hike. Yeah. No wildlife up here. There's some birds. Oh, birds. <laughs> yeah. You can see birds in the city, for God's sake. Sure. Yeah, so we've got about another hour still yet to drive on this uh, road. Beautiful. And uh, maybe the second half will be better because um, it's getting a little bit darker, a little bit cooler. Here's your pro tip. Go into the picnic area. There is monster elk in there. And this big guy just bedded down. Not a care in the world. Thank you for watching this episode. And we'll see you on our next trekking adventure. <laughs>